Today we'll be making a healthy snack called apple chips. In order for this, you're going to need the following ingredients. Some white sugar, cinnamon powder, apples, nonstick spray, and then you're also going to need half tablespoon measuring um, spoon. You're going to need a knife. You're going to go ahead and need your sheet tray, a cutting board, and I have a mandolin here to go ahead and make the process easier to cut my slices. If you don't have this, it's okay. You're good with your knife and your cutting board. All right, guys, so our first step is going to be to cut the ends of our apples. So we're gonna position our apple this way. Using our knife, let's just cut the ends, just like so, and then the bottom end. Just like this, I missed a little bit here. So let's just make sure we get everything. There you go. So now we have something that's flat in order to work with. We're gonna do our mandolin like I said. All right guys, now we're ready to go ahead and slice our apple gently, carefully. Slice the apples just like so into your mandolin that way you start creating your apple chips you're gonna go ahead and do that all the way till you finish your apple just like so i'm gonna show you how you could do it with your knife as well just grabbing your knife your knife just cut thinly slices just going to the edge just like so then that way you could create and it's easier to go ahead and get your apple chips nice and crisp just like so see so you want them really thin you're gonna repeat this process all the way till you finish your apple And it's okay if you get things like this. They don't have to be perfect. Just try your best. Just like this. with our knife how you got some thin slices just like this so you could tell it thin and with your mandolin you also get things so let's go ahead and start assembling in our sheet tray I'm gonna switch grabbing our sheet tray the first thing is to go ahead and spray some of our non-stick spray into it, just like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our slices chips of our apple, just spread them around our sheet tray pan. Try to fit as many as you can um, without overlapping, because you want them to go ahead and Get that nice crisp so you don't need them overlaying. There we go. So I line them up. My next step is just measuring half tablespoon of our white sugar we're gonna sprinkle them over our chips just slightly just to go ahead and get that nice caramelization it's gonna help with the crispiness and it's gonna add nice sweetness right there we go 
Our next step is to sprinkle with some cinnamon powder. Lightly sprinkle all over your apple chips. Just want a little bit. Cinnamon is a strong spice. So a little bit goes a long way. Just like so. Alright guys, so we have sprinkled our apples with our sugar and our cinnamon. Now we're going to go ahead and transfer it to our oven. It's going to be at a 200 degrees and we're going to go ahead and bake them for two to three hours. This is going to take out the moisture from our apples and then we're going to get nice crispy apples. Alright guys, uh, it's been uh, already two to three hours that our apple chips have been in our oven. I've taken them out and as you can see right here, this is our chips. Uh, they have a nice brown color due to our cinnamon. But as you could hear, they're nice and crunchy and ready to enjoy as a snack. Hope your family likes this and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.